You can see the true power of this fire by all the damage that's left behind here on Pine Canyon Road. The area I'm standing in was once a shed, now burned down to the foundation. All that's left here is some bricks and rubble. I can't believe how much is gone. Neighbors are shocked to see their backyards charred and blackened. Smoke and ashes still billowing around the hillside south of Salinas one day after the river fire sparked near Pine Canyon. Some homes left in ruins, others damaged on the outside, but the inside spared. We're lucky we, we've kept all the houses. My house is down below here. My brother's is over across the canyon. I got a cousin over here. The way it come through that brush yesterday, I've never seen anything like that. Brad Tarp lost a garage, a shed, and some of his father's belongings at their old family home. We grew up here. My folks built the house back here in 48. This was built in the 50s. Firefighters are mopping up to make sure the flames won't reignite, spraying down torched brush and wood. It'll be a process to clean up all the rubble, but some of the homeowners in the fire's path will have to wait. They're now left looking for a place to wait it out. They don't really want us here in the house. We have no water. We have no power. You can see small flames are still rising from the rubble at this home on Pine Canyon Road, and other evacuees wonder if this is what they'll return to. It's been pretty terrifying. We've had fires on this road before, nothing of this magnitude. Locals tell me neighbors are banding together to help save each other's properties, doing anything they can to try to limit the destruction before they have to leave. We've been watering the property with sprinklers and just dousing everything we can. But the devastation left behind sends a clear message. The fire's rage is powerful. Cal Fire is stressing that it's important for residents to leave when asked to for their safety. Cal Fire says this area is still not safe for people to come back to, but they hope to have a timeline within the next 24 hours. Back to you.